Hello, welcome to JD's prep. In the diagram below of triangle HAR and triangles NTY, angle H and angle N are right angles. And triangle HAR is similar to triangle NTY. So two things that we know, right? We know the triangles are similar. We also know that there are right triangles. So the first thing of information that's given is side AR is 13. So let's fill that in. And side HR is 12. We want to figure out the measure of angle Y, which is over here. Right? So because these are similar triangles, I know that the measure of angle Y, which is what we're trying to find, is equal to the measure of angle R. Again, these are similar triangles, so angle R and angle Y are going to have the same measure. So all we need to find is the measurement of angle R. Because these are right triangles, we can use our knowledge of SOHCAHTOA, right, which shows us a relationship between an angle and its sides, to figure out what that measure is. So again, sine of an angle is the opposite side over the hypotenuse. Cosine of an angle is the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. And tangent of an angle is opposite over adjacent. Looking at that triangle, right, for angle R, 12 is adjacent to that angle. Right? 13, which is opposite of our right angle, is our hypotenuse. So the trick function that we want to use with adjacent and hypotenuse is cosine. So cosine of our angle, which the angle that we're looking at is angle R, is the adjacent side, which is 12, over the hypotenuse, which is 13. In order to find that angle, right, to find a measurement of an angle, we need to use the inverse functions. So R is cosine inverse of 12 over 13, which we punch that into our calculators, and we'll get the measurement of angle R to be about 23 degrees, which is number one. 